Okay, I am back and I have it all dried. So this is what it looks like and it doesn't look like any kind of an old fashioned picture or anything. But what we're gonna do now is we're just going to tear around the picture to get rid of all the excess stuff that we didn't bother erasing because it wouldn't be in our way. And so we're just gonna tear around her and then see kind of if it looks a little different than it did back at the beginning. And there. So now we have our lady and I think that looks pretty good and we can put her right on here. Don't want a sharp corner on there. So we can put that right on there. Maybe let's try distressing it up just a little bit. And then put some color around the edges. And then I didn't grab, I wanted to put something, oh, I have my lace over here. Let's see, I wanted to put something behind it a little bit, like Sonia did. That's just a cute picture that we can put in our in our book and and I didn't spend a whole lot of time um, looking for perfect pictures but um, you know I also have one here I had pulled out this picture this was the first one I pulled out and I decided I did not like her looking straight at us and um, so then there was a picture of her looking sideways, and I distressed that one also, which that one looks good too, which also could go on here. Um, but I just really like this one kind of with the, she's got the bun in her hair, you know, it looks a little more like the old-fashioned picture that Sonia had. And um, let me see if I have what I have here to see what I have to put on. I wanted something kind of wide. the end of that one. Oh, I like that one. I'm going to know you can, if you take the stitches out of here, um, this will straighten out, but I'm going to just cut it off right now. But if you take the stitches out of this little part that I'm cutting out, um, there's just a running stitch in there of some sort, and that will let your lace lay flat on any kind of gathered lace that you have. So let's see what that looks like, because I like the, the zigzag on the edge of that. Kind of flatten it out a little bit. Put that on there. Put her over here. Or do I want to do it the other way? It's hard for you to see, isn't it? That's what that looks like. And I think, I really think I like it this way better. The zigzag gives me kind of a tension over here. And then she's kind of looking down over here. So that kind of gives me something on both sides. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that. 
and I'm just going to stick it down with some tacky glue. And then I'll trim off the edges. I'm going to flatten it down up around where it's going to be just lace. I'm going to leave like a bit of a, I guess I can put more on there. That lace is going to come all the way top to bottom, so spread that all out. Put that on there, and then put some glue on the back of here. And actually, after you dry these, because they've been wet and then dried, they do get a little bit stiffer than just regular. Um, they're still very delicate but they do get a little heavier or something than your regular magazine paper. I'm just going to put that one in there like that. I think she's a little too low. Flatten it out nice and flat, and get the edges cut off. There we go. And then what about, I just found this. I got this at a garage sale. I thought it was kind of neat, so I picked it up. It's just like some little tan roses, and the brown colors are my favorite. I was thinking, what if I put that? I like that. I'm going to put that along the edge. Let's see. If I put that rose right up at the top. I think I'm going to split those roses so there's a little bit of rose at the top and a little bit of rose at the bottom. And just get some glue all along the whole thing. Because it's a little bit kinked up, but by gluing it down, that will flatten it out. I don't need to try and press it or iron it or anything. be right along the edge but I don't want it hanging off the edge because I'm not so sure how well it will fit in my pocket if I leave it hanging over the edge give that a press cut it off and of course the best thing would be to let it dry especially using that wet of a glue Since we only have so much time on these videos, we're going to go ahead and, whoops, trim it off and then see what it looks like. We'll get our pocket in there. There we go. This is just fun. It's just about playing, having a good time, and so just remember that when you're when you're playing in your journals, you know what is the purpose of a journal? Just to have a good time, to create something. Oh, I kind of like the music paper. Where's the mu music paper on this side? Although we're really not going to see any of it. That's okay. It'll be down around the bottom. I like that. I'm going to put it on the music page instead. And so that it glues down fairly fast, I'm going to use this. This is Bead and Glitter Glue by Americana. And I'm not sponsored by them or anything. I didn't even buy this new. I got it at a garage sale. 
and I'm just going to go along the edge of my frame so that I'll have room for my picture to fit in here. I'm leaving a little more at the bottom than at the top just because the bottom has the music notes on it. So that's where I would rather have a little extra space. Oh, and forgetting the fact that because I've just got a little pocket window here, uh-oh, it's not going to fit. It's a little too wide. So this is what I'm going to do. My um, ruffle here is zigzagged, or my um, lace. I'm going to cut around that lace and see if that will make it small enough to fit in the pocket because, you know, things happen. And I just really didn't think about that. I thought that it was small enough to fit in the first place. I'm just following along the lace that I put on there. Okay, now let's see if it will fit. Oh, you have just a few more minutes. Okay. And that's still not going to fit quite right, so I wonder, because we used techie glue, yeah, it's not perfectly dry yet. Try and move this over a little bit. And cut off the edge of that one. Oh, come on, glue. Glue always wants to be super slow when you are in a hurry. If you are not in a hurry, it will be really fast and make a huge mess. Just to get you. Okay, so we'll just kind of go around these like this. So this is going to give me some a cute edge on my tag that I never thought about. Or journaling card, I should say. And basically they're all the same thing. Just has to do with the shape. Because both of them are really there for a little interest on the front and a place to write on the back. Go and that's oh the back looks really cute. And now let's see if we'll fit. Fast did that bead glue catch? I'm gonna unglue this side. And see if I like it better. Oh, it looks okay if I put it in all the way. And it looks really cute when you take it out. I'll have to put a little thing on the top. Better do that. 
I'll put a little thing on the top. 